combine these components of to write the vector in unit vector notation. Answer where 2.6 meters, I is the vector component of along the axis and 2.3 meters, J is that along the axis. Figure 3 to 17B shows one way to arrange these vector components to form. Can you sketch the other way? We can also answer the question by giving the magnitude in an angle form. From EQ.36, the magnitude is answered and the angle measured from the X direction is answered where the minus sign means clockwise. Tan 1 2.3 M 2.6 meters 41, R2 2.6 meters 2 2.3 meters 2 3.5 meters R, 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 2.6 meters I 2.3 meters J, R, R, C, B, A, R, sample problem 3.04 adding vectors, unit vector components figure 3 to 17a shows the following three vectors and what is their vector sum which is also shown r c 3.7 meters j b 1.6 meters i 2.9 meters j a 4.2 meters I, 1.5 meters J. Additional examples, video, and practice available at Wiley Plus XY1342323211 XY1342323211 A2.6 I B R R A C B 2.3 J to add these vectors. Find their net X component and their net Y component. Then arrange the net components head to tail. This is the result of the addition. Figure 3 to 17 vector is the vector sum of the other three vectors. R. Chapter 3 vectors 50 multiplying vectors There are three ways in which vectors can be multiplied, but none is exactly like the usual algebraic multiplication. As you read this material, keep in mind that a vector-capable calculator will help you multiply vectors only if you understand the basic rules of that multiplication. Multiplying a vector by a scalar If we multiply a vector by a scalar s, we get a new vector. Its magnitude is the product of the magnitude of and the absolute value of s. Its direction is the direction of if cis positive but the opposite direction if cis negative. To divide by's, we multiply by 1 per second. Multiplying a vector by a vector There are two ways to multiply a vector by a vector. One way produces a scalar called the scalar product, and the other produces a new vector called the vector product. Students commonly confuse the two ways. A, 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 PID is filled circle the vector, or cross product of two vectors and is written in as a vector whose magnitude cis given by C absent, in which is the smaller of the angles between the directions of N. The direction of is perpendicular to the plane defined by N and is given by a right hand rule as shown in Fig. 3 to 19. Note that, in unit vector notation, which we may expand with the distributive law. Filled circle in nested products, where one product is buried inside another. Follow the normal algebraic procedure by starting with the innermost product and working outward. Bxi Vyj Vzk Axi Ayj Azk B A A B B A B A C B A C B A B A This material will not be important.
employed until later Chapter 7 for Scalar Products and Chapter 11 for Vector Products, and so your instructor may wish to postpone it. Build Circle the product of a scalar and a vector is a new vector whose magnitude is in whose direction is the same as that of its cis positive, and opposite that of its cis negative. To divide by S, multiply by 1 per second. Build Circle the scalar or dot product of two vectors and is written in as the scalar quantity given by Avcos, in which is the angle between the directions of N. Scalar product is the product of the magnitude of one vector and the scalar component of the second vector along the direction of the first vector. In unit vector notation, which may be expanded according to the distributive law. Note that A, B, B, A, B, X, I, U, B, Y, J, U, B, Z, K, a Y J A Z K B A B A B 